right, hi guys, good morning. Actually, it's not morning, it is 10 to 1 p.m. Yeah, uh, so to this week I am on annual leave. This week being today is the 20th of September. I have no idea when this vlog will be uploaded um, because it's not in my pre-planned schedule of written down in my uh, reminders which is how I sort of keep on keep on track with the videos I'm uploading on both of my YouTube channels um, but that's a whole different story but anyway morning afternoon whatever time of the day it is for you guys it was originally just gonna be today but then I had a lot of holiday to take off so I was like ah let's take the whole week off <laughs> so last night I went to a concert and our, if I remember to, I'll insert some clips now. favorite band uh, a lot of people think One Direction are I mean they are my favorite band One Direction or well, they were but I've been a fan of Flies since they came on board in like 2004 uh, 2003 even yeah I've been a fan of theirs let's be 18 years and they're still a band unlike <laughs> One Direction, who are no longer a band. McFly still are a band, and I love them. Um, I was meant to see them last April. It got pushed back, and twice or three times, I think it got pushed back. And yeah, last night was the day, and it was fantastic. Uh, I went on my own, and I still enjoyed it. I highly recommend. They are one of my favorite bands, so or they are my favorite band technically. Um, but anyway, my plans for today, well, <laughs> I took the day off and right so I woke up at 10, which is the latest I have woken up in a long, long, long time. Um, I usually wake up about 7 on a daily basis, but truly it was tiring last night, so um, the M1 junction to Milton Keynes where I live <laughs> was closed so I had to get off of Northampton and drive through weirdly enough my old childhood um village which was really kind of emotional <laughs> not gonna lie. I got off the M1 I was like oh my gosh I'm automatically just going to go straight to this village aren't I and I just did it like my even though my sat nav was telling me to go a different route I still went the route of my village and then I went the wrong way because I was in like real old mode. My parents moved in October last year, so 11 months have not had to drive in that direction. So it was really strange. Um, they've made like when last year they had like a building site of houses, and it was not a building site anymore. It was really strange driving past that. I did. I have to admit, I did drive past my childhood home. It was very dark, there were no lights on. It was 20 past one at that point. It was very late. So it was 20 past 12, not 20 past one. Wow, 20 past 12. Um, and they, they've they cut down a big tree. But other than that, 
couldn't really see anything because it was dark. I didn't really want to stop and look like I was a stalker. It looked like it was quite quiet. And there were no cars in the car park. In the car park? In the garage. In the garage. In the drive, as Mid says. They, they probably were in the garage, to be fair. Anyway, my plans for today. I'm about to film a video. That took me five minutes to get to the point of what I'm doing today. I'm filming some videos and probably editing, well, I'm, I'm filming a video and then I'm going to edit a couple of videos. Yeah, so it's going to be an editing focus day, I feel like. Uh, it's like, even though I'm not working, I'm still working because I'm editing stuff um, for fun because I like doing it. Even if I don't get money from doing this, I enjoy making videos. It's like my little hobby and fills my time up. What else am I going to do today? I was meant to go to my parents for lunch but we pushed it back to supper. Now 1pm and I was thinking I'll be going to go to my parents but we pushed it back so I've changed my course of the day and we're going to edit and do other things instead. None of my videos are ever on time. I like filming these things and then not uploading them. Uh, for a while because that's just how life goes and that's how my plan goes so yeah this will be very delayed you guys will probably be seeing this in December even though I'm filming this in September that's crazy huh video done video completed whoop, whoop. I'm gonna keep this makeup on all day I think it's kind of weird I would say um, it's obviously green and then red. <sighs> really weird to be putting this laptop <laughs> on my desk, but I'm having an issue with the trackpad on this computer. I just keep an accidentally clicking on it, and I need to use a mouse. It's usually just easier sometimes we need to open a product that's already in existence so i use premiere pro to edit my vlogs because unfortunately i don't have final cut pro i definitely prefer kind of oh that means i just found what i need to do i need to add in pictures from here onto my computer but yeah, I don't have Final Cut Pro, so it's a little bit different learning curve. Um, I did use Premiere Pro for a short while when I was at university because we had to for our uni course. But I don't own it myself. Well, I do now. I mean, it's just not my cup of tea. I need. To, I uploaded the wrong pictures for my project pan, figuring out how to do it all really. But This is what it looks like. I am. I am. I am. Baby, I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet. But that's something I don't regret. Into dreams, baby. What can I do when a million things are running through? Million things I can't undo. I just sleep, walk, I just sleep, talk. That's all I got. What can I say when a million things I can't erase? Million people I can't save. I just sleep, walk, I just sleep, talk. Don't wanna my project pan video I have uploaded my project pan well it's uploading and I have also made the thumbnail my thumbnails are not that creative it's now 20 past three um I think I'm gonna go with some lunch I've just realized I'm going to my parents for supper tonight oh no do I go to my parents with makeup looking like this? 
or do I take it all off? I am simply gonna make myself some fried bread because I just need that, need that fried goodness in me. And then we're gonna fry it in my frying pan. And that's as easy as it is. That is what fried bread is. It is chef's kiss. Uh, I would have eggy bread, but I don't have any eggs. So, fried bread it is. And it's just a snack. It's quarter past four, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea with this. I'm going to watch the latest McLaren unboxed again because it was just the one two week which I'm still buzzing about by the way uh, it's been two weeks no it's been a week and a day and I'm still hyped over that title out of your car and pushing it over the line yes this actually happened in 1950 Good evening guys, so <laughs> it is actually the same day, it is currently, if you can read that, hopefully it's not going to mess up weirdly in edit, it is 3 or 4 minutes past 11 depending which one you want to believe, oh they both say 4 now, that's okay, anyway it's 4 minutes past 11, so what happened was, um, I filmed that video, I edited those two videos, then I went to have a nap for a couple of hours and then about half past six I woke up in a hurry. Um, I took off my makeup at that point because it looked very worse for wear. And I then went to my parents for dinner. Uh, I haven't seen them in two weeks because they went away down south for a couple of weeks. And pretty much since lockdown, or maybe even before that, most weekends I would be going over to my parents for a Sunday dinner. Uh, obviously <laughs> Sunday was yesterday, but I was um, at my fly. And then the day before that, I, my parents were at a wedding, so we were thinking of doing it on Saturday instead, but that didn't really work out. Sunday didn't really work out, today worked out. And anyway, uh, I got back to mine about half an hour ago. Um, I'm currently, where's my phone, <laughs> watching Bankai on Twitch because I don't trust my... Um, laptop because it keeps banning people i think there's something wrong with the touchpad like i think it keeps on like doing like magic clicks or something and this is a relatively new laptop but it keeps on doing things i'm not asking it to do so it keeps on banning people on twitch when i'm not anywhere near my laptop like it's happened twice and i've been sitting this distance away and it's banned two people and i just i'm so confused uh, I mean, once before that was my cat, that was fine, like, understandable, my cat went and walked with my laptop and banned someone accidentally. But the second or third time has been my laptop itself, so, um, anyway, um, my battery is flashing, I think that's a sign that it's the end of the day. Uh, tomorrow I am going into the town and getting my battery fixed on this phone because it needs a new battery um it doesn't last the entire day like i'd like it to anymore i have to keep it on charge or charge it at least twice throughout the day which is not my ideal scenario oh good afternoon guys it is currently 1 p.m uh, so my battery died last night and then i forgot to pick up the camera this morning mainly because i was in a rush to leave to go to the shopping center to get my phone sorted out oh i'm stuck sorry I'm stuck in my blanket Whew. i've only just come home uh so i've got a ham and cheese sandwich 
and my uh, usual Starbucks order which is a mocha frappuccino um, what else I bought was so recently uh, so I've been trying that functional beauty shampoo thing out and it's really dried my hair out and my scalp out so also I popped into boots and I have bought both well, just these two versions of tea gel. Um, I remember I used tea gel a lot when I was a child because I used to suffer from dandruff a lot when I was a child. But this is more like a dry scalp. It's not actually dandruff. It's actually my scalp that's really dry. Um, so I'm going to try these two things. So this is like the normal version. And then this one is the dry hair version. Um, gonna try it out see if it's gonna work or not uh, I've also gone back to using coconut shampoo um, and I've also been trying Olaplex as well um, I don't think I'll be using these again uh, I may use them for a different purpose like body wash but that's even possible I don't know I don't think I've really shown really much, but uh, this is my cat. <laughs> she is three and a half now. So, yeah, uh, it's going quite well. She has definitely ruined my carpet. I don't really know how to stop her from scratching it. Um, it's really infuriating though. I can't make her stop, no matter how much I try. She just keeps on doing it, so I do need to film a main channel video. Uh, one of my Project Pan videos needs to go up in a couple of weeks, but I've got no update for it, so I can't really make a video about it when I can't really progress with it because I haven't hit pan and items that I'm trying to work on, so it's really infuriating. For example, this is one of the products. Uh, have not hit pan <laughs> and then I think this is another one of the products in it as well and this hasn't hit pan on it this is my oldest bronzer guys uh, this is why I stopped buying makeup uh, because you don't realize how long it takes for items to be used up yeah so the shopping center was actually quite nice to go to by the way guys um, first like proper proper visit of like walking around i felt quite safe um a lot of people don't wear masks some do some don't it's like personal opinion if you do or don't um i did i did wear it in the shopping center i'm not too sure why because i didn't when i went to the concert the other day but i don't know <laughs> so, i did film that youtube video and then i had a nap and then I read some books, or a book. Then I caught up on some YouTube, and now I am about to watch, I don't know if it's going to focus properly, but Bake Off is back. Yes, uh, Great British Bake Off is back. And I'm 17 minutes late because I forgot it was on, but I did remember to record the series because knowing me, I am awful at watching TV. I'll probably forget to watch it, so recording the series just in case. I am also watching my Bankai stream as well. Um, also, we have got dinner here. Uh, I need to go food shopping. I was meant to go today, but then I got a Starbucks and I came home instead. Good afternoon. <laughs> Day three of wearing this hoodie. What can I say? It's really comfortable. Anyway, um, hi guys. It's actually quite late already. It's already quarter past four in the afternoon. How oh dear. So this morning I got my chores done. I went to the dump. I went food shopping. Um, 
and then I've just been sort of chilling out, watching TV, watching some films. Um, do you know what I did when I went food shopping today? I'm going to show you guys. Let me get it out of the out of the thing. So far, so I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with my health at the moment. Um, so I'm trying out different milks and seeing if that will make any difference. So obviously, to be fair, I've already got it here. Like this is my one that I've been using currently, which is the almond milk with the no sugars. Um, I also got one that has got sugar in it, I guess, because it doesn't say it's got no sugars in it. Um, today I just bought this one again because I think I prefer this version so I bought this one again but on top of that um, I have never tried soya milk or oat milk and I hear everyone's raving about these uh, they say soy milk tastes potentially the most similar to milk milk but um not gonna lie to you guys uh i bought some milk milk as well just because you can't beat it <laughs> i'm trying to like wean myself off it i guess so why not i'm not gonna go completely off it straight away yes the tea i made here Ooh. in my k mug um it's got almond butter in it. Almond butter? No. Almond milk in it. That one with the no sugar in it. Um, and it's not too bad. Uh, I definitely do prefer normal milk, obviously. I mean, normal milk. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a chill day. Um, I watched a YouTube stream, which was three hours long, which uh, used up most of my day. Um, I haven't done any editing or... Oh shoot. I need to create a um, thumbnail for a video that's about to go live in about eight minutes. <laughs> Literally just remembered about it. That's what you call having a bad memory. This is why I like pre-filming things because I don't get things. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Watching Scroll of Rock. If you guys have never watched Scroll of Rock, please do. It is a classic. It's still hilarious. Uh, I flipping love it. <laughs> it's such a good film. It's on Netflix now, at least on Netflix in the UK. So, uh, at least by the time when I'm filming this. <laughs> Maybe it's not anymore, but hopefully it is. But yeah, I'm watching that. I'm really tired. It's Wednesday and I still feel like I'm struggling from sunday but anyway um it's currently like what is the time guys guys what is the time about half past six so i think it's time to start making some food for dinner because i'm getting a little bit peckish and i'm feeling very tired so i feel like i want to have an early night i'm also Feeling like I'm beginning to get a migraine, which is not really ideal. So I've got some food today. Uh, what is the date? Alexa, what is the date? It's Wednesday the 22nd of September. 22nd, okay. So do these need to be, oh, 27th, 28th, and the 9th of October, oh, okay. We are not too bad with food then. Um, got something in the freezer too. You know what? I am just gonna go simple. I cannot be faffed. I am gonna simply have some pasta and then I'm going to probably in the frying pan, I'm going to warm up some. Uh, where are they? Ooh, no. Some pumpkin seeds. I love pumpkin seeds. We will up some pumpkin seeds and have with 
some avocado and also some like fresh ginger and some garlic and I think that's all what I'm gonna do maybe some herbs and things I feel like I've been hit over by a train I don't know why I'm so tired maybe I should do like a COVID test I have realized that you know I went to a massive gig on Sunday I haven't tested myself to see if I'm actually okay since and I feel like maybe I should maybe I should do that all right I found a use for the milk the normal milk I mean I don't know if you can tell maybe you can it's smoking uh, I have just heated up my milk so it's hot milk currently and uh, I've got some hot chocolate I need to buy some more of this actually um, I have tried hot chocolate with almond milk before I don't like it I don't know how to make it taste nice we're gonna just have it the way I like it and that is with normal milk oh by golly it's this is the season that I tend to have a hot chocolate most evenings instead of a cup of tea just because it's so nice and warm and comforting I have just realized that this weekend is not only the Russian Grand Prix but it's also the Ryder Cup for golf so I'm spoiled for choice for sport this weekend can't have hot chocolate without sprinkling some marshmallows into it there is my hot chocolate and I'm gonna go and enjoy this. Ciao. All right. Morning, guys. It's actually afternoon now. I should mention it's twelve twenty-two p.m. Uh, I have just had a lovely long bath. I watched the entire of the Truman Show whilst I was in said bath. I have never seen the entire film before. I've only ever seen the ending, so I thought, why not watch the entire film? I think it's really good. Um, I now kind of understand it, but I've always never I've watched the ending and been thoroughly confused. But yeah this is my outfit i'm finally not wearing that same blooming hoodie go me is actually um not in the wash i put the washing on before i was ready to put it on i have to have my bathroom door shut at all times because my cat will go in because the plants that are on my shelf are not cat friendly compared to the few that are in here that are so i've got this one that's kind of dead <laughs> that's safe i've got one in the corner which is also safe and i've got my um cactus there that are also safe so yeah um how long i've got left on my washing oh 10 minutes 10 minutes left on my washing yeah i might do like time lapse of me getting ready putting my makeup on and for no reason apart from to look more alive for you guys oh, i used tea gel in my hair for the first time in ages to help with some situations in my hair and um it smells yeah i never wear my hair down it's really thinning now um my hair is in like the worst shape it's ever been i don't really know how to fix it Ooh, this week is going so fast i can't believe it's thursday already before we go on to further business i just wanted to show you guys how long my hair is it's not been this long since university which was 10 years ago um this is all due to um covid the pandemic and me being lazy and not going to a hairdresser so obviously 
I had a hairdresser's appointment booked the week we went into lockdown. Couldn't get it done, <laughs> unfortunately. And um, so my hair's just grown. So at the beginning of lockdown, my hair was up here, like around about, well, about here, I think. So it's grown this much in that amount of time. And like, it goes down to here. So I think at university, my hair was like down to here. Uh, I don't really know how to fix my hair. Um, it's just getting thinner and thinner and thinner as I go by. Uh, I don't know if it's just because I have got a lot of dead ends and it's going all the way up to the root or if there's something wrong with my health, I don't know. I'm trying out different things to try and fix it. But yeah, I love how long my hair is. Uh, I went for a stage of being obsessed with having really, really short hair. But unfortunately, because of my health um, and because of my hair reasons, uh, I have to have my hair up most days. So having short hair really isn't an option for me. So I just have never gone down that route again. Also, uh, I think my, my, it may be mostly because I have like overcoloured it when I bleached it to that blonde. Um, it didn't like it. And so I don't think I'll ever colour my hair again. But it was a fun few years. Um, I am quite liking my natural hair again. It's quite dark, darker than I remember it being. Um, I'm sorry, I've still got like the blonde at the end, keeping it until it goes completely. Let's go do a time lapse of me putting my makeup on and me not looking like this. diet so I did not realize so you missed me finishing my makeup but this is the look I have gone for I don't know if it will show but I've got like a shimmery like and my turquoise blue over the top of a rather boring look <laughs> Uh, I also just filmed a video of a Project A to Z palette update from um, Rider Capitain A Delivery from ASOS. This was actually rather quick. I ordered this yesterday. And it's already here. So. I have honestly forgotten what this is. This isn't me. Like, not me being sent something that's for my neighbour and me opening it. What do I do at this in this situation now? Uh, so I am expecting an ASOS. I didn't order these and 
I just checked the address and the name and it is for my neighbours. Okay, I'm gonna have to re pack this up. Alright, I side taped it back up and I put it out the door. Um because it looks like they're not in. So uh, I don't think I would have knocked on their door. Oh, that is so bad. Um, it's not the first time that that's happened either, but that's DPD for you. Hey, look at who's come to join me. Little Mew Mew. Because I opened the front door and she always gets really excited. If, whoa, <laughs> she doesn't like being picked up at all. She uh, went straight on and tried to bite me. But if you're wondering, she's down there, but she won't be picked up. If any of you guys know any tips on how to get a cat to allow you to pick them up, let me know because I'm at a loss. This little one will not allow me to pick her up or touch her. This is why I don't really share much of Millie because she doesn't really like being near me unless I'm sitting on the couch or in my bed. Um, she will either run away or try and bite me. Honestly, after watching <laughs> the Truman Show, I keep on thinking, where is my... Where is it? I think it's in here anyway. I keep on thinking that oh maybe I am part of a Truman show. Like I've actually had those thoughts before where I act like mirrors are a camera or like a little dot in the wall is a is a camera. Um like sometimes I'm thinking, oh, it must be so boring if someone was watching me live right now. Uh, imagine if everything was a simulation and nothing was real. Uh, but that was a really good film though. Very well done. I really enjoyed that. So, wearing another McLaren t-shirt uh, hoodie. Something just got a little bit cold. Um, yeah, I'm making myself some food. I'm making myself my fried bread. Again, I did the same thing as I did, I don't know, I filmed it, did I film it? I can't remember. Where I have, I did film it, didn't I? I mentioned it. The, the fat, the dripping, whatever. I have basically spread it on here and now I'm going to put it on. Oh, I think we're going to be a bit too early. So, I did put... package on the floor if you can see it is next to his door yeah oh that sun the only sun in my flat right now is in here it's really difficult actually because it were oh of course my cat is down there too <laughs> She has to find anywhere where there's sun, you'll find my cat. Um, yeah, it's very minute here though. Like, it's kind of sad that this is the only sun I get into my flat right now. All right, good morning guys. It is 10 past nine. I am just about to go to Whipsnade Park Zoo. I'm not bringing you with me, but I will insert whatever I post on my Instagram stories here now.
guys, that's been a major fail. Um, so, <laughs> yesterday I went to the zoo and then I came home and I caught up on the F1 and F2, not F1, F2, free practice one and free practice two that I missed during the day. And then I got to caught up on some TV. And then I went to bed quite early because I was really tired after walking 15,000 steps. I think it was around about 10k I walked yesterday around the zoo. It was such great fun. Um, I'm sure you can maybe tell or not, but I am indeed burnt from that day. Went to bed, woke up this morning um, too early to watch Free Practice 3, which was then cancelled. So then I went back to bed for an hour. Then I woke up late and had to rush to get ready and get out the door for my golf lesson. I completely missed the qualifying because of my golf lesson. So I came home, I had like, so I'm part of like a Discord for Formula One, well not actually for Formula One, for like a streamer who is a huge fan of Formula One and is kind of friends with Lando. So I kind of found out the result of the qualifying before I watched it, but I watched it anyway because I kind of wanted to see how the hell it happened because um, it just seemed really random. But the end result was Lando P1, yes my McLaren boy, Carlos P2 and George Russell P3. What the hell, it was absolutely nuts it was insane it was incredible insane even though i knew what the answer what the result was i was still here screaming at the tv like standing up like oh my god <laughs> yeah it was actually insane so what happened was basically fp3 was cancelled this morning so they didn't really have a chance to go out this afternoon they um the track was trying and so in q3 because they do Q1, Q2, Q3 to eliminate people and to choose the order. In Q3, they change to dry wheels, tyres, I think they're called slicks. And um, that changed the entire thing. And Hamilton, <laughs> for some reason, he crashed into the wall in the pits. And that not only delayed him, but that also delayed Bottas. So they couldn't really better their time. And in the final lap that Hamilton was doing, he botched it completely by spinning. He did a spinala. And yeah, he was just pushing too hard and failed. <laughs> so somehow, I don't even know how George Russell got into P3, but he did. And uh, to be fair, it, like the provisional of a pole was Hamilton, and then it was Carlos, and then it was Lando, and I have been buzzing ever since. So it's now five o'clock. I finished watching the uh, qualifying about 40 minutes ago, I think, and I'm still like buzzing over that result. Like coming after Monza, where they had the one-two in, in McLaren to then coming through to the next race and getting pole position. I don't think he'll stick it. I do think that um, Lando won't win it tomorrow. I want to be wrong, I really do, but I don't think he will have the power in his car to do so. But uh, we've, so we've got tomorrow, we've got Max at the back, we've got uh, Charles at the back and we've got Latifi at the back so it was really weird actually having an entire qualifying session where Max didn't run he only did like one or two laps didn't set a time at all I think just to kind of you know go out and do something and like satisfy the FIA they basically wanted him to why am I explaining this to you guys I don't know you guys probably not even interested in the Formula 1, but I am. So, <laughs> so he basically didn't run for any of the qualifying. So, yeah, he set out. So Leclerc actually ran for Q2. 
as well as Q3, uh, just in case Max came out, I think, and uh, because that could have settled the score between who was 19th and 20th. Um, I think if Max had qualified 17th, then he would have been 19th, and then Charles would have been 20th. But anyway, that doesn't really matter. Uh, so then the T fee, they changed the power unit in the, his car too after having some issues yesterday. And uh, it actually showed in Q1 about that. But they wanted to see where Charles was going to sit. So they ran him into Q2 as well. Because uh, then that would have decided if the T fee was 18th or 19th. But yeah. That's cool. I am super excited for tomorrow's race. Millie. Hey, Millie's come and say hi to you. Ordered myself a Chinese takeaway. But I am going to tidy up this now because I need some clean bowls. But yeah, I ordered myself a Chinese and I can't wait for it. <laughs> um, I try and order out, order out, order in, have a takeaway at least once a month. All right, ignore the mess of my table. I got my Chinese food and it smells delicious okay so as always when I order Chinese they give you a bag of prawn cra crackers I was about to say cocktail and prawn crackers some usual little sauces which I never have because uh, I think they're a little spicy or Oh, maybe I will. Actually, no, I'll have this one. This one's a little bit spicy, but I'll have it anyway. Um, this one. Alright, so firstly, oh, we have got some prawn toasts, which look like this. Oh, beautiful. Then we have got, what is this? Ooh, are these the prawns? Are these just for the prawns? Mm. <laughs> so I, every time I get a Chinese, I get a prawn dish and it changes every single time I have. I sort of go in between like prawn sweet and sour, prawn and like garlic. And this time round, I got, Prawn with prawn tempura, basically battered prawns, which look like this. What to do? These don't look like prawns. My rice. I don't have enough space on this table for all of my things. So I always get egg fried rice, crispy seaweed. It's one of my favourite things about getting a, getting a Chinese is the seaweed. Which looks like this. Beautiful and yummy. Do you know what I found really weird though? I noticed if you got it as part of the vegetarian appetisers, it was 10p more expensive than if you got it with the general other appetisers which I thought was a bit, a bit off. I obviously went for the cheaper version. <laughs> I'm forgetting what I ordered. I think this is going to be the, the chili bee. Yes. This is the only spicy food I'll eat. <laughs> and by the way, I'll have enough of this food to last me like three or four meals. So, I am pretty much sorted for the next four days. <laughs> ah, this. 
the satay chicken of course i don't know how i forgot it when i got the the sauce here for it to go into but i'm going to go and eat this and watch the first well the second episode of should they come dancing i guess the first one of them actually dancing which i'm super excited about <gasps> Oh wow, you can see it is dark outside right now. <coughs> it's, yeah, it's quarter to nine. I completely forgot to film today. So, <laughs> basically, um, I got up, I watched the Grand Prix, and that pretty much was my day <laughs> um yeah i just completely completely forgot about filming and my camera was <laughs> right where i was sitting the entire freaking day i am so sorry um yeah that race oh my god we were so so close to a land of norris P1 podium finish and then the freaking rain came and changed everything mega drive from Verstappen he ended up being in P2 coming from P20 honestly the last two or three laps was insane I have no idea really what happened because <laughs> it was all a blur um basically he was leading like the entire race uh apart from like a little stint where science where car science was, was leading it and then there are 53 laps in the race right around lap like 48 or so ish it began to rain and then <laughs> lap 51 two laps to go the rain just fell and Lando was told incorrectly the weather information and was going off the fact that he thought it was just going to be drizzling so he stayed out and uh, it was the wrong decision obviously to make and he lost the win uh, and he ended up being a P7 and I feel utter heartache for that boy um, because he could have won his first Grand Prix. Then, but in the meanwhile, <laughs> Hamilton ended up winning his first race. Uh, not his first race, wow. Ended up winning his 100th race. The most any Formula One driver has done in the history of Formula One. He is the one, he is the one who's won the most races ever, which is a feat. Um, uh, I'm back working tomorrow as usual so I am actually going to go and have a bath now I was just in the process of trying to choose a film to watch over here on my iPad um, but I'm going to go watch a film I don't know what to watch yet I haven't really decided as I just said um, and then I'm probably just going to go to bed because I'm starting back at work tomorrow morning and I don't feel ready for it at all. <laughs> all right, it's not a sad film, but I have decided to watch Bombshell, which is this film here, which has got Charlie's Nicole, Charlie's Theron, Nicole Kidman and Margot Robbie in it. Um, it's to do with the, like the American Fox News and like the true story of the sexual harassment allegations. Anyway, I think I am going to go and watch that whilst I have a bath. Hang on. Skip ads. There we go. And pause it. Has mini, I, 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 I. Millie's not allowed in here because of those plants. She is simply just not allowed in here because she is allergic to those plants. Um, 
the kind of poisonous to her, so they have to stay in here. And the doors to keep it kept shut. And every time she comes in here, she tries to chew the spider plant, which is not good for her, so. And I'm using this from Zoella's old beauty shop. All right. While that is uh, running, I am going to make myself a cup of tea because uh, I can't have a, a bar without a big old cup of tea. Um, I'll be using my normal milk for this. Uh, I have just also realised this is the first time I'm having a drink today. I don't think that is normal. But I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Uh, and then I'm also going to take off my makeup because I can't have bath and makeup on. Oh, Alexa, turn on light. <laughs> Whoa, Millie. So, wow, lighting in here is great. Just there we go. White balance has sorted itself out again. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to have my bath and enjoy the end of the evening. It's currently quarter past nine, so the film is a couple of hours long. So I'll probably just go to bed when that's finished. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me this week. Uh, I'm sorry that it probably wasn't that exciting, but uh, again, I don't really like vlogging around people, so this is the sort of content you're going to have to be used to doing, me doing. I hope you guys had a good time hanging out with me, and I look forward to the next time I do another weekly vlog. But yeah, um, I have got ideas for a very busy December of videos though, which I am slightly scared about, but we're gonna do it. Uh, I'm planning to, I think, do kind of like a 12 days of Christmas thing-ish, maybe. I don't really know, I haven't really decided, but uh, that's gonna be starting to planned now and I'm starting to film for some of those videos that I can pre-film. Anyway, uh, that's it. I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you guys next time for...